Hi friends, this is how you add artifacts in Frontline. So you click on your Frontline. I have mine bookmarked. I recommend you do that too. And I have all my info saved right here. So I'm signing in and my it's heading right to professional growth. But if yours is on absent management, you just click, make sure you're on professional growth. Um, then we go to my info, my evaluations. I'm going to click artifacts and upload. I am going to add, um, I like to add the artifact first and then name it and tag it just to make sure I don't mistakenly send anything without anything attached. I'm going to send a URL of the Google site I built. So I'm going to add that. Um, Olive is my administrator, so I'm going to tag her. I'm going to click out of here. I'm going to name it. So EdTech CMS Google site. The description is for me. I'm going to just keep it simple. Same as the name. And for this one, I have, I'm going to tag it. Let's see. Publications. Um, my students are the teacher, so it's not student work samples, but, um, let's see. I have a feedback thing on there too. Um, uh, mine's a little different since I'm, um, a specialist and an instructor, but, um, so mine's a little different than yours. Categories. I'm going to professional, um, family and community engagement and professional culture. Um, that's how I'm going to tag it. I'm going to choose a rubric, Massachusetts. Choose criteria. Um, I tag a lot of things. Um, I know that the evaluators appreciate having more um, more things tagged for less evidence, if that makes sense. So having a piece of evidence really represent um, all the standards that would be more helpful to them. Um, and then don't forget at the end, you click add criteria. And then when you're done, you click save. I'm not going to save because I already saved this. Um, but I hope that's helpful. Have a wonderful day.